Hi, I'm Jake Sadovich, um, and this is my uh, biplane. It's uh, kind of like a scale model almost of a pit special biplane, aerobatic. Um, so I just did that this summer after um, Bricks Cascade between that and uh, Bricks Slopes in Utah. So talk about the scale of this here, because I noticed some unique figures kind of sprinkled throughout the build. Yeah, it's um, by the time I started getting into it and getting built, it, it decided it was closest to the Galador scale. So I have Galador, and then the Galador family has a jackstone for the baby. <laughs> Not something you see in very many builds, but did you have these Galador figures on hand already, or was this something you had to pick up when you decided that you were going to do this size? Um, I had a couple that I picked up in a bulk lot, and I did have to get uh, the lady one. I don't remember her name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly some unique figures. So then for the plane itself, talk about the design of that and kind of where you started with this. Um, I started with uh, the large aircraft wings from the city, and I was going to do just kind of a just a made-up biplane, but as it progressed, and it was kind of all in grays, so as it progressed, this uh, the nose cone piece only comes in trans clear or red. Okay. So I basically changed the whole color scheme and then completely redid everything I had already done. And then I started looking at the pit special, and so instead of making a made-up biplane, I tried to go for more of an accurate reproduction of a real plane. Mm -hmm. So I had to scrap it and start over about four times. <laughs> no dedication to the build though. So then talk about the lettering and kind of some of the stickers you've got on here. Okay, um, across the top is all brick built with all the new, nice new shaped tiles that we have. Uh, so saddle bricks, that's kind of my Sadovich, saddle bricks, the Lego thing, you know. And then on the back I've got, these are just vinyl stickers. So it says JS0937. So my initials and then the Lego upside down in numbers. There you go. Um, and then that one, of course, is a printed Lego brick and then just some vinyl cutout stars. Mm -hmm. So you were able to add some nice kind of custom decals then to it. Yeah, yeah, and then um, it's got a lot of stickers too on, on the control panel. They're all Lego stickers, if you can get in there. Yeah. And it looks like, does the pilot have no arms in there right now? Yeah, I got his skinny up in the front, so I did have to take his shoulders or his arms and legs off to get him in there. And the other reason, too, is that you've got the joystick down in there and then the rudder. So I'm still kind of working on getting that right, but it's going to have full working flight okay. controls from the cockpit. Yeah. So. Nice. so do some of these parts move back here then? Yeah. Um, the elevator will move. The tail, the tail wheel will go with the tail once I get that system done, and then the ailerons will all go all true to form how they should be. So what's this like structurally then? Can you pick it up and kind of swish it around? Uh, How does that work? A little, because it has a pretty sturdy frame, and then the sides, basically from where this nose section ends, beginning here all the way back, is basically just a panel of plates and slopes with uh, hinge bricks here to hinge that panel. So it's got kind of, it's got a cer pretty sturdy subframe that those panels just lay on top of. And then I like your base here, which has the very large green uh, tiles. You don't see those real often. Where, where did you pick those up from? Um, all, I got three different BrickLink orders. <laughs> um, I was actually in a store just getting some other things. And I noticed he had like 26 or something. And they were relatively cheap for that size yeah. of a tile, so I just got them. And then I did the math and I was like, oh, I need 50 total now. <laughs> so I got some more because I kind of wanted it to be like an air show scene where they're out here. It actually, it was sitting down on its wheels like it should, but it's, it got too heavy for its own landing gear. So the tail wheel collapsed on me. So I'm working on doing more of a permanent stand. And so this will go, all the stand parts will go to something else later. And then you even want a trophy here. So what's the trophy for? Um, it is the best of model team, first okay. place model team at BrickCon. So. Congratulations on that. Always cool to get some nice looking Lego brick built trophies for your builds. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. I've got the blue ribbon, so I was super excited about that. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, great work here. Thanks for bringing this to the show. I love the mix of Galador and the cool plane model and everything. So thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome, man.
good to see you guys.